Well, guys, I have made it home from our trip away. Let's go check on the greenhouse and see how everything turned out. Well guys, I am happy to report that everything in my greenhouse has survived. Yay! I went away for a week and set up my greenhouse on an automated drip system to bottom water my plants on trays while I was away. I have uh, multiple seedlings in here that I started a few months ago, including my tomatoes, which uh, they are huge they're going to be a bit of a challenge to plant out into the garden with them being this size but i am happy to report that they are all still alive and arriving let me give you an update on the bare root plants that i potted up just before i left so i had my plants all potted up the bare roots that I had received from Bessie Seeds and I placed them on a tray and ran a drip system to the tray just to uh, fill the bottom of the tray so that they could have water while I was away. And they have all sprouted. This one is the Goliath Phlox and we've got a great little sprout on it. I'm excited to get some more growth on this to fill the pot before I move it out into the garden. So we'll keep monitoring and watering and taking care of my little seedlings with the Goliath Flocks, the Green Twister Coneflower. They are all doing really well. They all have sprouted and uh, were able to maintain themselves while I was away with the drip system that I had installed. And what else do we have? The Hardy Flocks. And it is all sprouted as well. So the Hardy Flocks, the Goliath Flocks, and the Green Twister Coneflower, all the bare roots that I had started, there's a little update for you. They all have sprouts on them growing away here in the greenhouse, waiting for their turn to be planted out in the garden. But the biggest success I would say are my tomatoes. So I had them all in a tray and uh, ran a drip system to the bottom tray so that I could bottom water them and uh, they took off. They have uh, reached great heights and uh, I'll be working on hardening, hardening them off out uh, outside outside of the greenhouse so I can get them planted in the garden in the next coming week but uh, let me give you an overrun of how I set up the drip system in the greenhouse started with running water to the greenhouse. So the main line, the main hose of water that comes in, comes in here onto a splitter and I've got it split into four different sections. And from one of these splitters, I've run a timer and it's just a simple, inexpensive timer. It's manual, it's not fancy, it's not Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or anything like that. It's just a manual setting and you set it on auto when you're away. I've turned it off for now because I am home. You set the clock. Let me turn it so you can see it. You set the clock. You can set the start time, the duration. I have it to run for five minutes and how many days you want it to run. So I had it run every day and then you can turn it off, which is where I have it set at now. So from my little timer that I had set up on here, I ran another splitter into two sections. I picked up a couple of inexpensive starter drip system kits and it came with your main supply line and then also some smaller quarter inch supply lines that you can run to your different hanging baskets and uh, my trays, which is what I used it for. And then it came with an assortment of drip emitters. So from there, I ran the two lines that I had onto the pressure regulators and the supply lines. So these supply lines are more of a rigid plastic. I think they're a half inch supply line. 
and uh, I chose to run two, one to each side of the greenhouse. And I've just hooked it up there and ran it along the roof line of my greenhouse. So just kind of where I could attach it with some zip ties into some, uh, I guess they're just screw holes or bolt holes in my greenhouse. So I ran the supply line around the perimeter of the greenhouse. I then installed or inserted, I guess you could say, the quarter inch black tubing, which is also just a supply line. It doesn't have any emitter holes in it. And I just ran tubing and attached emitters on the end. And let me show you how I did that. So once I had my supply line run around the perimeter of the greenhouse, I then needed to decide where I wanted to run my quarter inch supply hose line two. So I have hanging baskets that I knew I needed emitters to go into those. And I decided that all my seedlings that were in trays to bottom water them. So filling up the tray and just having one supply line with one emitter onto each tray, which really cut back on how many emitters and supply lines I needed to run because running, you know, running a, an emitter to each one of my pots would have taken a lot, a lot of time and a lot of emitters and hookups. Anyways, I placed them on trays so that I could bottom water multiple plants at one time. And in order to do that, you just use one of the uh, puncture tools that comes with the kit. The kits that I ordered uh, were on Amazon and I'll put some links below in uh, the description if you're interested in checking out some of the different uh, drip systems that are available. I had no idea which one to start with or what to try out or I just sort of picked which one looked the easiest to set up and uh, ordered it. It was shipped in a couple of days and uh, away I went. It did take a few days to kind of get it figured out and hooked up but let me show you how I got it done. So like I said I used the puncture tool and this punctures a hole in your main supply line, which then fits one of your connectors or emitter. No, this isn't an emitter. This is a, uh, let's call this a connector. So this little connector then went in the hole where you punctured your hole in your supply line. It's threaded. So getting that in was a bit difficult. It was cooler weather when I was setting this up, but uh, Drip systems are much easier to work with when it's warm and things are pliable. So to connect my quarter inch supply line with my half inch supply line that's running off the hose, I had to add one of these connectors and I just put the hose onto the end of it and they fit really snug so that water doesn't leak all over the place. <laughs> You get one of these connectors on the end of your hose and then put it into your main supply line. You cut the hose to whatever length you need it. So running it to a hanging basket or down here to one of my uh, trays to bottom water. I found longer is always better because you can always uh, wrap it around. If it's too short, there's more difficulties there. So learn that longer line is always better. And then once you get your line to the length that you want it, you add an emitter to the end and some of the other connectors I'll show you over here that I used was a T. So we have the main supply line up here and then we have the quarter inch that runs down and then I've put a T in. So now I've got access to two hanging baskets with one supply line and I found that worked really well. Now I didn't really know anything about what, uh, gallons per hour and all those kinds of things that when you get into drip systems they have. So I just went with your basic beginner emitters where when you want more water, you just turn it. You turn it and more water comes out when you want less. These ones you just turn and less water comes out to uh, more of a drip type system. I did order some different kinds just to try them out. So I have this type as well, which is more of a spray. So some of the bigger planters I had on the floor that I wanted uh, water kind of just to uh, spray on them. Uh, these worked really well. 
the smaller you make them, the, the finer the mist that comes out of them. So I tried some of those and I uh, just worked through it uh, for a few days before I actually left to make sure things were doing well and uh, turned on the timer and away I went. I'm happy to report back now that it worked well. Everything survived, everything stayed well watered. I'm excited to get out in the garden and get some of these plants hardened off this week so that I can start planting. My name is Bonnie, this is Artist in a Garden. Thanks for watching guys. I will keep you updated on how everything else is growing and uh, we'll get out into the garden planting up some things. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one guys. Bye bye.